Okay, we're going to have a quick look inside this colony. This is a, has three boxes. And last time I was here, I gave it a box of wax. So that will be in the middle of the stack. So um, again, I can, if I come on to the other side, I can lift this up and you can see if there are any swarm cells. And we can also see if they um, use that middle box. No swarm cells. That's, that's good because we really want this, these colonies to get a little bigger first. And I'll just lift this out of the way. Oh. Bit of weight in there. And they have used the wax that I gave them last week. And you can see we'll just flip through quickly. This is the outer one. They've, they're drawing this one out. Nice clean comb. A nice um, clean frame of brood with the wax. No, sorry, with honey on the outside, or with nectar on the outside. Okay, there's the, there's the larvae and the eggs. So if you get a piece of this and just point at what is what, so now I can okay. then... Okay, so using this handy piece of rush as a pointer, we have this, all this is capped worker brood. And then moving to the outside of that, you can see younger larvae which are getting nice and fat and then outside that younger larva again which is smaller and at the bottom and the outside that I don't know where we are now um, over here there's some eggs at the bottom of the, of the cells and there of course the youngest is still there must have been laid within the last three days and if they're standing up it will be within the last day beyond that we have pollen so it's easy for the larvae to be fed and outside that is the nectar that hasn't been capped yet it's just fresh nectar brought in so this whole um, whole comb has been built and laid in and used and it's all beautiful and fresh and new but you can see also where the wire is inside you can see in the pattern of the brood Queen doesn't really like the where the wire has been, so you, there are gaps in the brood. This is, um, this is a little older, it's almost all capped now. Lots of gaps in it. This is the sign possibly of an older queen, or the fact that she really doesn't like the wire inside the foundation. So this colony uh, was given a, a new box just over a week ago as you can see it's just it's just been capped the first of it so probably no harm to give them another box again um, while we're here because sometimes I just don't get round to the bees if the, we if the weather isn't good enough so I'm going to give this colony another box but because we're well past the longest day I'm now not going to put it at the second position, I'm going to put it at this position and then put the top box on the top of that again. End. <laughs> yeah. This is the brood nest in this hive it takes up this much space in say March or April and then it expands and it's touching the top by um, June so mm. you would add a few more boxes actually mm -hmm. what I do is put a box in the middle of the brood okay. nest so they draw that and put in more brood straight away yes uh -huh. exactly okay. well I can show you that later on uh -huh. but um, so Imagine this, this is a, a colony that's with a shrinking brood nest in the end of the summer. Mm -hmm. Then this is the space that's opening up for the bees to store their winter mm -hmm. uh, nectar and the honey in. And so 
eventually, or towards in say uh, August, September, October, the, the nest will all be down here, mm. and everything above it will, will be honey, honey stores. Yeah. So it's so simple. It isn't complicated at all. You can just yeah. take off the top box, and yeah. this is going to be honey. Now, of course, you can check, and if there happens to be any brood in it, mm. well, then you put it down below, and you take a replacement frame out put it to in. make a a full box of, of uh, Do you of always honey. place an empty one in the middle roughly or does it vary? Is there good times to do in that? The, when uh, the brood times. nest is expanding, so up until the um, longest day of the year, the yeah. brood nest is expanding. Um, so you want to help them by putting any, you give them more space in the middle of the brood nest. Mm. And then after the middle of June, or then the brood nest is shrinking again. Mm -hmm. So if they need more space, that there, there may be a honey flow on, and the blackberries just coming in now, and the clover, they'll be bringing lots and lots of nectar. They need lots of space, so you give them another box. But it doesn't have to be at the top, mm -hmm. because that they will have to bring everything up through the hive. Much higher. But if they have, if the top is filled with honey already, mm -hmm. um, and they're still processing it, we'll give them a box underneath it. Mm -hmm. it makes, makes it, makes easier, it easier for them, for them to get out and, yep. yeah. and then this one is going to be processed and finished and mm -hmm. capped and ready to go and this can come off yeah. whilst the next one is being sorted mm -hmm. we have a bigger colony this is on five boxes so we'll have another look inside and see what's going on no swarm so that's a good sign it means that this colony isn't forming um, but I'm going to check through the boxes Another and you look in this junk and then skip through to make sure that they have enough space. Again, you can see these are dark combs, but they're we're getting to the new box that we put in earlier on in the last few weeks. So um, I can show you how quickly I assess a hive. Normally, it only takes a few moments because. Um, what I'm doing is looking to see whether they have enough space and whether they have any queen cells. So it's very easy to do that just by lifting up one box, a little bit of smoke, and levering it up like a suitcase. And I can see there are no swarm cells underneath. And it goes, now, no swarm cells. And I can see straight away that they're filling up nicely, but they still have room in here. So that is the end of the inspection. You can see how quick it can be and how quick it needs to be. I'm confident that this colony is fine for another week. Um, the other question that I've been using brood chambers mm -hmm. in, in the same way, actually. Yes. But I found that the weight was way too heavy. <laughs> I mean, I could manage it. I mean, With it, when it's it? full of honey, it's it weighs a lot. It's 50 kilos of honey in a, in a blue chamber. And I found it was back-breaking. Whereas with these hives, I would imagine it'd it's be much heavy. lighter. But why not use supers? Just you supers. Could. Yes, you could easily have a stack yeah. of supers. And I, would recommend, I often recommend that to, to people who um, want to use this system with one size box. Right. But don't but want to go to this. There are just a lot more junctions, a lot more joins. So more frames to look through, more possibility of um, missing a swarm cell or squashing the queen or something. You, you're moving more frames around. It's more time consuming. Yeah. They look pretty strong. Well, either this hive is now full of swarm cells, mm. um, or it needs another box probably, because last week, well, where are we now? Six days ago I put this box in above the brood nest, or thereabouts anyway. Um, this was mostly stores, this was mostly brood, so I put another box of foundation in, um, as you can see, and we're just going to have a look inside see what we find. But a colony this size um, can fill up a box in a week, so we'll mm -hmm. see how it's going. On. That is a massive colony. It is, and I expect It'll either have begun swarm preparation or it'll need another box. And you mm. can see suddenly that really is a big colony. Mm. And that's what I'd expect from, um, from quite a few of my hives every year. You mm. know, full-size colonies get this big.
And it's to do with the, you know, not restricting the queen? Yep, that's right. Uh, How many bees would you say are in there? I mean, they say as, uh, an ordinary standard uh, brood and a half of national of national will get to 50, 60,000. So I would say this has to be over 100,000 bees. Easily, yeah. But we'll see. Maybe, as I say, maybe they've all swarmed away. But we'll have a look. There's a bit more smoke in this one. They, um, they've already stung me a little bit just now, so I'm expecting a few things. So as you see, this is seven boxes high. I can't go more than eight because I can't reach that high when they're full. Um, it's always best to borrow a couple of roofs when you're going through a big colony. You've got somewhere to put the boxes. And again, I'm not going to hang around with this unless we're forced into it. If they are swarming, then we'll have to split up the colony. Mm. But um, we'll, we'll know that pretty soon. Yep. Yeah. No swarm cells in there. Yep, that's good. No swarm cells. Just going to get to the fresh box here now. Let's see what they made of that. Again, we're just checking for queen cells. Again, no queen cells. You can see how full this colony is. So I gave them this um, box full of new foundation and strips of foundation, and you can see they've drawn it out beautifully, and it's full of nectar. Um, there are, don't seem to be any queen cells in there, just a lot of bees. Um, so I'm going to give this colony another box, which, if the weather stays good, they could be half filled up by next week. So here's a box going in again above the brood nest and you can see some are whole sheets and some are strips of foundation. And maybe I'll just show you what's, what they've done with those strips. So I'll just fish out a couple. This is what I'm expecting. This, we're now in the middle of July. I'm not expecting much brood from now on. But, sorry, there will be brood, but it won't be any expansion of brood. They're, they're having fun, they're building all sorts of combinations. You can see this is all drone cells, and this is drone cells, and that in the middle there's worker cells. And it's very clever the way they have to try and mix those up and to fit together. But this is the typical shape of a comb, but sometimes it's more loopy than that. And, um, you can see they're heading out for the corners and eventually they'll fill it all up. This is, this is basically um, wax, this is comb building going on. You know, they, they all um, huddle together to keep the temperature up so that the ones who produce the wax, they, they practically sweat it out. They have to be warm. Okay. So Tim, some people would say that uh, to achieve such a large colony is not possible. What's your views on that? I mean, it's obvious that it is possible. It's very obvious, but... isn't it? That a colony one will. I haven't forced this colony to do anything. It's had an opportunity to swarm all summer, and it hasn't. You're gonna need a ladder for that. <laughs> Well, actually, Dave, would you mind just smoking them? Yeah, uh, where is the smoker? Sit down by my mic. Okay, one second. You see, that's this is the reason I stop at eight boxes high. Because I'm just not tall enough or strong enough to put a ninth on the top. 